Drop curves the guide read topology. So when we read topo, we want to make all of our polygons uh, the same uniform size. You can see some here are bigger, some are smaller. So at the end of our creative process, we generally like to go back and get a more ideal retopo. So we can do it in an automated process, but here we're going to use some guides to help, some curves to help guide the retopo operation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some curves. And I'm going to come up here and I'm going to draw some curves over the eyeballs. So this is going to help guide the regeneration of the, of the mesh. It's going to use this curve to help decide where to go. Well, one's usually not enough. I like to go in the other direction. And so I would go something like this. But yet I would have a problem in this valley. So I'd put one in the valley. And if I really wanted to kind of guide it even more, I'd even put a couple more in here. So I'm going to put one in here, I'll put one in here, put one in here, etc. Okay? Now, I need to do something with this horn here. So I am going to put a couple curves right up the horn here. All right? And you can see here, I'm going to switch around and I'm not going to get too crazy, but you're going to get the idea here. So I'm going to just draw a guide here. And, and I'll probably go here, over here. Okay. So just to give it some basic shape. And now I'm going to come back to my home here and take a look at them. And you can see now that uh, we have these curves drawn on the mesh. Okay, so now it's time to retopologize our mesh. I'm going to go up to mesh. I'm going to go to retopolize new operation. Yes, I can give it any name I want. I can set to how many uh, face counts I want, what the uniformity is. But here down the curves is I want to make sure this is on. Now a soft curve is yellow. I can change the color if I want. The soft curves are yellow. Uh, by default, all curves that we draw are soft. The hard curves are red. Now, the difference between soft and hard. Soft merely gives us some direction to the edge flow, and our hard curves define the, the major edge flows. So, you know, soft gives us some guidance, and hard is this is where it's going to be. Now, I want to transfer over my layers. Um, I didn't have them painted yet, so I won't transfer that. I do want to transfer over my curves. I haven't posed or haven't done any freezing. Um, and if I want any symmetry, I should do that now. If I want to set, do any symmetry, sculpting or painting later on, I need to do this now. So I want to go from right to left. And I'm going to move this out of the way. Okay, now everything is soft at this point. I'm going to leave the eyeballs soft, but I want to change a couple of these up here in the horns to hard. So what I'm going to do is right click and say hard constraint. That'll make just this one here a hard constraint. And then I'm going to do the same over here on this one. I'm going to right click and say hard constraint. So I'm going to just make two of them hard constraints. Okay, so now it's time to retopologize. When I click on that, it's going to calculate down in my lower left hand corner. It's going to generate a new topology. It's going to generate a new mesh with uniform polygons. So they're going to be quads, all four sided, uh, and it's going to be uniform size. This will take a while. I did a very simple alteration here so this can actually go fairly quickly. You can see it takes a while at calculating. Usually when you set a hard constraint uh, type thing, it's, it will actually take a little longer to uh, control. Uh, and even with the soft, it'll go much quicker on the automated, on the, on the automated uh, retopo. So you can just sit back and relax, and it's going to generate a, a new mesh. And this new mesh then will have uniform topology. So we're going to take a little break while this calculates and we'll come back 
um, and take a look. You see here, we have generated a new topology. The new topology has been created. You can see how all of my polygons, my quads, are equal size now. None of them are stretched out. Some of them are not smaller than the others. So we've generated now a new topo, and it looks nice and smooth. It's symmetrical. I now have the horns on both sides. So I can, you know, keep those horns, uh, keep those uh, curves. I can turn them off if I don't want to see the curves, right? So even though I still have them, I don't have to have them there visually, okay? So I can come in and turn the curve copies off even too, but I don't want the copies there. So I'm going to go along and I could do this with a control and turn them all off at one time. But now you can see how I have much better uniform quadrilaterals um, to my mesh. So all my polygons are uniform in size. So we typically would do this after our creation process and kind of clean up our mesh so we don't have some that are stretched out and some are too small. So this is using drawing curves to guide a retopology.